So, uh, hello everyone. This is going to be a pretty different video than what normally happens on this channel. But something I noticed is that my Odysseus video, my Odysseus solo against Demeter in Olympus, has gotten uh, like basically a bajillion views. So what I figured to do is I can make a guide sort of explaining what Demeter does, what are some of the best servants and things that you can use for Demeter. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now, mind you, this is just going to be like a straight up guide. This is what I think is the best, just based on what Demeter's skills are, what she does, the inherent base behind her fight, because I'm of the opinion that this is one of the least RNG based fights compared to some of the other boss fights, but a lot of people have had trouble with this one, both when it originally came out on JP and now with Olympus being about a month, being out for about a month in NA, and people still probably having trouble with it from now and, year, and a few more times to come, so I figure, why not do this? But do it in a sort of fun way. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing all the advice in MS Paint because I figured this would be, you know, a nice little humor, a humorous way to do this. So with all that in mind, let's start with the big, big boss herself. Make this about. This color, we are going to have Demeter right about here. This is definitely what Demeter looks like, trust me. It's like a little, uh, a bit lighter down the middle. We gotta fill that with red. And then give her like a little eye right here. So. This is Demeter. The way she is a caster, so she's got the wand. Uh, yeah, that's that's the wand. And her gauge is five. So she has five ticks of energy. So we will do that by these boxes. Three, four, so, this is Demeter. She's a caster. Five bars as her normal caster. She gets three actions per turn, but we'll put a little asterisk by that. And for reference, she's divine and super large. There's not a lot of servants that can do super large, but divine is very popular. Like Nobu, Summer Martha, etc. Those ser servants do really well here. Now, what Demeter does is she has a set pattern. She has three skills, and there is a set pattern for each of them. The first skill she uses, she uses this first every fight. Every turn one, she gives herself a defense up for three turns, and then a damage cut for one turn. Now, what this means is that basically for the turn after she uses this, you're basically going to be dealing no damage. And you want to time your things so you can kill, you can deal the most damage you can when she doesn't have the damage cut and the defense up started. Now there are definitely some ways to deal with this. There's buff removal, but some of the two best ways to deal with the damage up are two command codes that you may or may not have just simply because of when you started playing when you made your account what events you've done that kind of stuff so i'm only going to mention them as if you have them great they're not the end all be all though the first of these command codes came from uh santa quetzalcoatl i butchered that name but that's fine it looks a little 
something like this. So if you have a command spell that, or a command code that looks like this, and then it's got a, uh, let's make this a bit more purple. Uh, yeah, that color works. It is a three star command code. So it looks something like, like that. If you have a command code that looks like this, it is a three star command code. You get it from Samba Cats, the Christmas event from two years ago. Not the Santa Nightingale one, the Quetzalcoatl one. What this does is, if you put it on a card, it removes one defense up buff. So it will remove this buff. It doesn't remove the damage cut, it removes the defense buff. And what that this basically does is it will let you take that away for the three turns, and then she will never cast it again until it comes back up on the cycle. And the second was acquired from the Battle in New York, which was the most recent one that happened right before Sable Wars 2. So it's last year. And it's the one that has Yeah on it. Gilgamesh's sword. It looks a little something like this. So there's there's the outline and then it's got Gil's sword. So it'll be like that and the sword comes out. Beautiful time. Now this does the same thing as this command code where it will remove the defense up, it also increases critical strength, but that's whatever. So if you have these, great. Put them on your DPS, and you're good. If you don't have it, it's fine. They're not really necessary. I wish erasers were better here. Or whatever. It will just undo. So that's what Demeter does turn one. Uh, turn two, Demeter will cast and attack up so she will get an attack up we'll draw a little sword gets an attack up and she will charge her gauge by three so for instance turn one this will be charged and then turn two when she casts this skill it goes one two three and then at the end of the turn She'll fill in her last one. So basically, she's guaranteed to NP on the third turn of the fight when you start. That's basically what this skill does. It's very easy to play around when you know the cycle. And then the third skill is that she cleanses debuff. So she cleanses her debuff. And she also gets a heal. So she heals herself. This is one of the more frustrating ones because, in a sense, it makes the fight go down to a debuff race, or a DPS race, as it were. Where if you can't out-damage the heals every three turns, then it's pretty rough. But that's all Demeter, Demeter does. Turn one, defense. Turn two, attack. Turn three, heal. This is on a cycle that only gets interrupted by break bars. So if Let's say you break on turn three. She will skip using this, the heal. She will skip using the heal until the next turn. So that's all you need to know for that. So let's get rid of the skills. We know what they do now. Now, the break bar. Demeter has three health bars, so she will get two break bar effects. So let's draw in so we have the first bar which is the it's not the blue, purple it's the blue so we'll put the blue up there and then the standard health bar which is red so now what happens is after you completely wipe out this bar what Demeter will do is she will remove all of your party's buffs. So you've got three people here and they're all like buffed up. You know, they're, they're going super insane, right? 
they're all buffed. What Demeter does, she removes those buffs and then inflicts buff nullification for three times. So what that means is that when you try to cast a skill that buffs, like say this dude tries to cast Charisma and give you an attack, it doesn't work. And that'll work for the three skills or for three turns. So this is the most dangerous one because of that buff removal. You do not want Demeter to NP on the turn that you break her first break bar, which you can play around because you know she's guaranteed to NP on turn three. Makes sense. And so what happens on the second break bar is really not that bad. She will gain a Guts for herself, so here's the little Guts icon. That'll revive her with some HP. Uh, she gains HP regen per turn, so there's HP regen. And also, she has a chance to confuse her, which confusion can be this color. She will confuse herself. Which means she will, in confusion, she will not cast a skill. Which throws off the three skill cycle that we talked about earlier. And this is where the DPS race gets insane. Because with the HP regen that she gets right here, along with her third skill, she's going to be healing a lot. Especially because the buffs at the start of the battle will end up going off. And we're also going to be talking about those right here. So at the start of the battle, you are forced into having Canis in the front line. So we'll have Canis right here. Got Canis, she's got her cool spear, like look at that. Spear. And the shield. And then the hair. This is Canis. Canis on the front line. And what happens to Demeter in this fight is that she gets defense down. So she will have defense down for three turns. And. Demeter, prior to this fight, has an HP regen buff on her automatically. That gets removed. And her healing effectiveness actually goes down for five turns. So, effectively, this will only apply for the first heal skill that she uses. At which case... Hopefully you've dealt a lot of damage to her by then, and after that you sort of have to run through with all the servants that you brought, with all the skills, and you basically hope you go through, you deal all the damage while this heal debuff is still active, and then ideally you reach the final break bar to where you can just start throwing everything at her. So. With all that in mind, that's the rundown on the Demeter fight itself. That's really all that you should need to know about it. There's going to be a second video up here detailing what servants I think are the best to use for that fight. So be on the lookout for that within the next few days. And that's going to be this little two-part Demeter fight breakdown. So thank you everybody for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.